as soon as Christmas is done. These can be found in the stores, but as usual, making them at home is much better and it's easier than you think. Today, we are gonna be making chocolate chip hot cross buns. These are basically little brioche soft pillowy chocolate buns with chocolate chips in the middle. Traditionally, these have raisins in them, but I don't actually like it when raisins are baked in things. So I just replace them with chocolate chips, but you can add the raisins if you like. Now guys, before we get stuck into them, don't forget I have a podcast and it comes out weekly on Spotify. It's called Bake My Day. You can listen to it for free on Spotify. It's actually hosted by myself and Elise Strawn from My Cupcake Addiction and it is a really silly, funny baking podcast. You guys are going to have loads of fun listening. Let's get stuck into these. Let's begin with our dough. So we're going to be adding some milk to a microwave safe bowl or a jug and and we're gonna add some butter in there and microwave this until the butter is melted. If you don't have a microwave at home, you can do this on top of the stove on medium heat. Once the butter is melted and the milk has warmed, you're going to add one egg and you're gonna whisk it in. Then you wanna set that aside. I'm gonna be using my stand mixer today, but if you don't have a stand mixer, you can do this recipe by hand. I've left instructions in the written recipe. Add some instant dry yeast to a large mixing bowl, along with some sugar, some all-purpose flour, allspice, cinnamon powder, salt, and some cocoa powder. These are chocolate hot cross buns, and they're really delicious. You're going to let that mix with the dough hook if you're using a stand mixer for a couple minutes just to help everything mix. Then you want to add your wet ingredients while your mixer is on low speed. After you've got all of those in there, you're going to let this knead for five minutes. After five minutes, you want to stop your mixer, cover the bowl and let it sit in a warm spot for one hour. After one hour, this dough has doubled in size and it's really airy and fluffy. We're going to dip our hands in some flour and punch that dough down. The flour is going to stop the dough from sticking to your hands. Then you want to add some chocolate chips. Now, if you like, and traditionally this has raisins in it, but if you follow me on Instagram stories, you know I'm not a fan of raisins in baked goods, so I'm going to be using chocolate chips. You can even use a mixture of both if you like. Once you've kneaded that into the dough, dust your workbench with some flour and knead it for a couple minutes until your dough is nice and smooth. We want to split our dough into eight equal pieces and the easiest way to do this is by weighing the dough. Once you've weighed it, divide that number by eight and split it into eight balls. With each individual piece, we're going to knead it into tiny little dough balls. Spray your baking tray with a little bit of oil. That's going to help stop your dough from sticking to the baking tray. And then once you've got them all on there, spray them with a little bit more extra oil, cover them with plastic wrap, and we're going to let these rise for an additional 30 minutes. Making that flour paste on top for that iconic hot cross bun cross is really easy. It's actually just a flour paste. So flour and water mixed together. I've added this to a piping bag and I'm a little bit fancy so I've added a piping tip because I want these to be extra neat but it's definitely optional. You don't have to have a piping tip. Pipe your crosses on top and these are ready to bake. We're going to bake them for 20 minutes. That's all it takes. Once these are finished baking, you know that glossy iconic look? That's achieved by brushing them with jam or you can use orange marmalade. And that's it guys. Our delicious chocolate chip hot cross buns are ready to be eaten. Can I suggest serving them with some salted butter? It's actually really delicious. Look how soft these are guys. Mm. Easter is coming up and you want to make these guys, trust me, the recipe is in the description box below. Go check it out, make them, make them a week before Easter and have them for breakfast every day leading up to Easter. These are amazing, you're going to love them and I would love for you guys to try them. If you'd like to see more of my Easter recipes, I have more videos over there that you can click on. So click on there and watch another one of my videos and guys don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all on the next episode.
episode of the Scrum One. Bye.